Hey, what's up gamers? In today's playthrough, I'm going to show you how to fix some stripped out spark plug holes here. If you've got this issue where the spark plug has blown out of the head and the threads are gone, we're going to go over how to fix that. So to start, you're going to want to get yourself a spark plug repair kit. And since I'm a baller, I picked up this piece of crap off eBay. Uh, don't buy this kit. It uh, is cheap and it kind of sucks. Spend a little more and get something decent. Um, I'll go over why this is a problem in a second here. Bruh. The main issue with this spark plug tap kit is the tap itself. I actually went ahead and welded this uh, extension that I had, drilled out the top of the tap, welded this on, and then ground off what was originally like a hex head top of a bolt. Uh, and that's what you were supposed to use to turn the tap. Uh, the problem with that is that this thing is way too short if you're trying to get into, you know, something like a Subaru cylinder head or any kind of cylinder head that you have to actually where the spark plug sits down deep inside of a hole like this. Before you get started with uh, running the tap, down into the block. You wanna put some grease on it here. And get that uh, into those little grooves in the tap. That'll help to catch all the metal shavings and everything that's gonna uh, end up coming out of the head as you're cutting new threads and help to keep that debris and everything from making it down into the engine. Uh, so yeah, now I'll go ahead and start cutting the new threads in the, in the uh, head. Alright, I'm just going to slide this on in here. Try and keep it as straight as possible. Apply some pressure. And just try to get the tap started. Start cutting some new threads. So you feel it grabbing, you feel like it's started to cut. You want to back it off. And go back in again, cut a little bit more. Back it off again. I'm going to take it all the way out this time. We're going to see how much metal is built up in this tap. It's starting to get some chunks of aluminum in here, so we're going to clean that out and then run it back down again. All right, just keep working on cutting the new threads. And I almost forgot to mention, this is a Subaru 2.2 liter engine that uh, I'm working on here. This is somewhat common of an issue on these engines. Uh, I think a lot of it usually just stems from people over tightening these spark plugs when they install them. It can be kind of easy to pull the threads out of aluminum when you do that uh, but this is you know something that happens to other engines with aluminum heads <clears throat> uh, you know I know how you uh, I know you Ford guys with the 5.4 liters know what it's like so similar procedure on one of those all right and once you finished uh, running the tap down there and getting all the new threads cut I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of this grease and whatever metal shavings are left down in there. It's just a simple bore brush. It's like a $3 kit from Harbor Freight. And if you have an air compressor, I recommend getting in here and trying to blow whatever you can back out of here. Want to try to get as much grease out of there as possible before putting the threaded insert in. We're going to be using some Loctite on that to make sure it stays in place. Now, to put this uh, threaded sleeve in here, so put a little bit of grease on the spark plug here. We're going to thread this guy on. We want to be able to get the spark plug back out and have this sleeve stay put in the engine. And then we're going to take some of this green Loctite. This is a sleeve retainer type of Loctite that you'd use 
if you were like pressing new uh, freeze plugs or something into an engine block. So this is a bit stronger than the standard blue Loctite. Get a good amount of that on there. And now we're going to go ahead and thread the plug with the sleeve down into the block. Once you've gotten the uh, spark plug threaded down in there with the threaded uh, sleeve on it, then go ahead and let that sit down in there for a little while to give the uh, Loctite on there a chance to dry and set. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull the spark plug back out and make sure that everything has stayed in place down there like it should. Let's go ahead and remove the plug now. Hopefully that sleeve stays in place. All right, yep, looks like well, that's the uh, crush washer on the spark plug, but the sleeve stayed down in there. Uh, yep, and I don't know if you can make it out down there, but that is the metal sleeve down there in the spark plug hole. So. That should take care of this problem, and really it should be a stronger and better fix than the original aluminum threads that were down in there, and hopefully we won't have that problem again. So uh, yeah, if you've ran into that issue where either your plug has shot out of the... Uh, so yeah, if you've ran into that, have the issue where your plug is either uh, shot out of the engine, or the threads got torn out when you went to remove the plug, what uh, happened to me in this case. That's uh, how you can fix it. I would just recommend getting a better quality kit than the crappy $12 kit that I got off eBay. But it does work if you don't mind putting in a little extra work, screwing around at the tap and welding an old extension to it. But you don't want to deal with all that. Just spend the extra few bucks and get something halfway decent. So yeah, that was uh, about it.